Even though they told him was very tough, but these people never gave up on the mission as they were serving Christ Jesus. They were able to come out strongly. They knew they had an assignment from God. They moved forward. First, a lot of adventures. Some were tortured. Some were gay. Some were despised. And looked down upon. But they knew the one when called them was a faithful God. They ran the faith. About this wine, chapter 12, Bible tells us we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. The witnesses that have been taught here are not the witnesses in the court of law or the witnesses that saw you doing something. It's talking about the heroes of faith. There are witnesses of whatever happened. They are a witness. What you are passing through, they can witness that indeed, yes, you are passing through. And whenever they are, they are cheering each other and saying, My brother, my sister, what you are passing through, we also pass through. They are encouraging us, my brother, in your account. My sister, in your account. They are telling us you are not the only one. What you are passing through is not the first thing. We also we were there. Where you are today. Keep moving. Keep going. We are witnesses. We are the witnesses of the pain. We are the witnesses of the suffering. We were there. And if you are there, we overcame. You will also overcome. So these are the witnesses. We can learn from them. These are chapters of faith. They overcame life. It's a journey of life. They came on story. In the grace of God and the power of God. As you know this year, this 2023, it has been a very, very challenging year. We open this year with a lot of hopes, with a lot of expectations. We had a lot of strategies, a lot of plans we had. But surprisingly, things have not turned out the way we wanted, the way we expected. So, this message that we are receiving today. Okay, if you will steer us to another level, so that we can not go away, we can become stronger and stronger. Praise the Lord. I'm sharing something. I know I've been, I'm saying that we are in a season of honor. And I will continue sharing about the honor. Wherever I go, and the Lord will bless us. Finish it with the honor. Finish it with the honor. It doesn't matter how you begin, but how you finish is what is important. As a church, as an individual, as a family, how you finish is the most important. Even if you tell people, I used to do this, I used to make this, people will not listen to you. They will listen how you finish. So finishing with the honor is my prayer and my desire. In Jesus' name, I know we have faced a lot of afflictions, challenges, economic challenges. Some of us have been sick. Some of us have been in hospitals. And many things we have passed in life. I want us to finish with honor. In Jesus' name. Finishing the honor. And this is what the order of Buddha is. is encouraging people. And since we are surrounded by a big cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance. They raise them before us. They will be beautiful unto Jesus. The order and perfecter of our faith. Praise the Lord. But there is no way you can finish with the honor 
Unless you observe some things. There are things we must observe. There are some disciplines. You must observe. These champions of faith. Even the champions in real life. Most people compete in the battle. Yeah. 
But we are very heavy. We have so many things to do. We may not achieve. I pray in Jesus' name. Put away excess weight. Another excess weight. We are wrong advisors. Wrong advisors. People are not moving forward. Because of wrong advisors. People who advise you. Who are your advisors? Who are your advisors? Who are your mentors? Praise the Lord. Who are your mentors? Who are your mentors? Praise the Lord. We were in a funeral somewhere. And a preacher asked a question. I want one of the friends of the person who has died. Let the friend come. Praise the Lord. And then the friend came. The friend came. This was the friend of the person who has died. As the preacher said, the man who is lying here, this is the representative. This is the mentor. This is the advisor. So the character of the person in the grave is this character of a friend. Because the preacher asked, who is the closest friend? Let the closest friend come. But the friend claimed, what did he ask him? Brown your emotion. Brown your emotion. Praise the Lord. So I will have told that you know brown your emotion. This, this friend who is coming on brown your emotion. Is the one in the grave. Praise the Lord. And there is no way you can run away from the truth. If you discover your friends are becoming a way, put them away to finish with the former. We must get off any weight. If the weight is seen, put it away. If the weight is of ambitious, put it away. If the way are wrong advisors, put them away. I pray in Jesus' name. Every way that ensnares us, that is making us want to progress, we have learned a lesson. In the year 2023, we have learned a lesson. There are some things which has made us, as a church, want to move forward. We have learned this is success way. This is excess weight. Whenever you have excess weight, you will never move. So you must carry your own capacity. If you are carrying more than enough, you will break down. Then they will broken down. Because they are having a capacity which is your best. Carry your own weight. You must carry your own excess. Put the excess. The policemen will arrest you. Praise the Lord. If you are carrying excess, there are others on the on the sabasa. They will say you remove them. Praise the name of the Lord. But that was one of pride. So that they move forward with excess weight. They go to the bus. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the point number three. Endurance. You must run with endurance. Run with endurance. Endurance is very important. I have discovered it's very difficult for people to endure without understanding how God works. I had problems some years back. But after some time, I discovered we must endure life. It comes a season, a season of pain, a season of confusion, a season where everything is against you. Even your closest friends, they sin against you. You are supposed to understand, but in this chart of faith, people who endure will be able to finish with the honor. I know you are persevere. Financial challenges, marriage challenges, you have suffered even diseases. And whenever you are passing through, I want to remind you, don't pass through. You cannot pass through. And you are, and you are happening as a soldier of Jesus. I like the way Apostle Paul was reminding his son. And you do it. But if you are suffering as a soldier 
of Christ. Ele pediu a safra dele. Ele pediu a safra dele. Tu me lembra de ele? 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 Praise the Lord. 
Recently I was looking at some of our alumni. When I saw one of our, my classmates, he was not even strong in class. But I saw him on the way to the position of our, our assistant professor at University. So I said, assistant professor, I, I just, uh, I'll just say it works. Because when you some of us looking at the performance of this, uh, he was not about the top. He was not about the top. But he is a professor. I just want to know. But God is so great. There is something unique in each one of our lives. But what I want to encourage you, you should not lose your destiny. You should not lose your life because of being a patient. Can we allow God to work? Allow God to work. Don't be in a hurry. Don't ever in the quick. I want to get quick. A bit of steps. I want to be rich quickly. Let God build a foundation in your own life. So that when you give you resources, you can be able to Is Jesus there? Some of the things are falling down. Because the foundation is not strong. Listen to the Lord. Our foundation is not strong to hold some things. Listen to the Lord. Do you know that some of us, you will never own a car. You believe you have money. Because the foundation is shaking. You don't have to charge. Praise the Lord. Some of us will never be a millionaire. However much we earn, you believe you earn 500 per month. There is no thing with a millionaire. Because your foundation is so strong. And you are harsh. I will build a strong foundation in Jesus' name. We are now going to work in our lives with the name of Jesus Christ. So we should endure, endure hardship as a servant of God. We must purely endure it. Things will not be working. And the thing number four, we should fix our eyes on Jesus. Fix our eyes on Jesus. It's better I fix my eyes on Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Fix our eyes on Jesus. The Bible says, and since we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance. It's a race set to us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. We need to fix our eyes on Jesus. Fix our eyes on Jesus. Fix our eyes on Jesus. We should not focus our eyes. On distractors. Distractors will come. Distractors will come. Fix our eyes on Jesus. He's the owner and the perfecter of our faith. Fix your eyes on Jesus. You should not fix on distractors. In life, we have distractors. In life, we have people who distract you. There is always a protocol. And there is always a distractor. Anyone is weak. He has always been opposed. When Jesus was born, the people wanted to kill him. When Joseph was born, the people wanted to finish him. When the man was building the wall, the people who opposed him. If you want to finish with honor, 
we focus on the people. On people who will help you. Amen. When people will help you, Raise the name of the Lord. We have come this far. Nobody can say we helped you. Praise the name of the Lord. No man can say we helped you. Many times I've told you, telling people, we have come this far because of the hand of God. There is no man, there is no politician, there is no relative who can post and say, We have helped you. But our eyes have been on Jesus Christ. We have never been disappointed. My prayer in Jesus' name, we should not look on the people. Focus on God. If God will still use people, God will use them as channels of blessings. But they are not the source of people. Because God blesses people through people. But they are not the source. God uses them as channels of blessings. And one thing I want to remember, you must treat people well. You must treat people well. Because you may not know where your blessing is. And then, people you despise, they may be a solution for God. Praise the Lord. So that is why sometimes when I leave home, if I'm in a hurry, I won't go. Because when I go, I will take five hours to greet here. Because I think I like meeting people. I greet people. I treat them well. Because that person may be the one God has said to bless my life. Praise the Lord. Are we together? We know that sometimes there are people you become in life. Every time he's calling you, he's crying. Every time he's calling you, he's crying. You should not summarize and conclude and say, This person, when he's calling me, he's crying. One day, God has made you a son of the prayer. Amen. And also you will be crying. And there is no other solution for your life. You should not have shame people. Whenever you see them, they have a problem. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember some years back. After I'm thinking I was beaten up for the wedding. You know, at the time we are praying for just life, sometimes it's very challenging. And then, there's someone who visited us one morning. He, he, he was carrying a solution for our life. Then I just wondered, so I remember anybody having a blessing. That person, he has never carried anything. All of his head was just that he never carried anything. On that day, he said he carried something. And the thing he was carrying, he answered our solution. He gave us a solution for our life. God blesses people who are true people. Amen. Treat them well. And the Lord will bless you. And the last thing, remain focused. Remain focused. Praise the name of the Lord. Remain focused. Remain focused. In your vision, you must remain focused. We need clearly to understand specifically what God has called us to do. And concentrate on it. You know specifically what God has called you to do. Concentrate on it. We should not learn on what other people do. We must concentrate on what God has told us to do. If you understand what has told you, concentrate on that work. You should not say, Oh, I'm going to be slaving. I am a lead of women. And because of the challenges, they will decide, I am receiving. If you resign, it means you are what and if you understand this is what God has called me to do, I will concentrate it. Amen. God has called you to do something. Concentrate. Concentrate, my God. 
Amen. Amen. 